Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, Alex, I got a question for you. We went back and forth on this all offline, so I'm, I'm going to bring it online. Um, so the question I have for you, and I don't care where you're at, in Florida or in the United States, how, if you could only make a thousand bucks net every two weeks, so that's two thousand a month, that's twenty four thousand dollars a year. How would you survive in the United States today with this economy, with this interest rates, with this inflation? How would you pull it off? Okay, so the key word I'm gonna take from you is you said survive. So I'm not worried about how would I enjoy life. I'm just looking to survive. So. The first thing is I would move to a remote location. Um, remote meaning rural, you know, there's maybe not too much industry. $2,000 net a month, you're probably looking at what, 13 bucks an hour, 12 bucks an hour, something like that. Um, maybe a little higher. I'm not using a calculator right now but you would have to in that case you just have to move i mean because you obviously two thousand dollars net a month you can't really survive in a major city unless you're living with somebody that's allowing you to stay there and you're paying some part of rent but if you're on your own i i would i myself would uh, move to a remote location and i would attempt to rent any available space in where i'm staying that's the first thing i would do all right i'm gonna be the devil's advocate or i'm gonna be like i'm a viewer of this video and i'm gonna ask uh well what if we can't move and we don't have a car or what if if we move to a remote location and then the gas to get to our job that's in a major city that pay us a thousand bucks every two weeks if I move to that location, then the gas will eat up all the money that I have to live. So the question is, how will I survive that? If your job that's paying you 2000 net a month is in a major city, I would find another job. I would quit. I wouldn't drive to a major city for work when my income can be found in a remote location because it's a lower income because 2000 net a month is in florida is almost like the state minimum wage so you can find a minimum wage job in a remote location even working at a gas station let's say so so what you're saying is you don't have an answer for people that can't do the can't move to remote location. My Did question, ask? no, I mean my question to them is why are you staying? Why are you putting yourself in that situation? It just doesn't make sense to me. If they if they feel trapped there for whatever reason, then that's on. I mean that's just on them. I I can't give an answer for something that just doesn't make sense. Because if there's no okay. benefit to it, there's no benefit to your life to stay in a spot with no opportunity or benefit and it's just hardship when you can make a change just moving that's the, i mean that's okay that's how i view it no i mean that's how you view yeah. it that's that's yeah. understandable uh i don't yeah. i don't prescribe to that thinking i i i believe in i believe in it's always a way to do something it's always a way to do something. It's always a way to make it happen. So let's go. Let's go with the we're going to go with the highest place to live in Florida. In my example, the highest place to live in Florida right now is Miami. Right. So if I'm making two thousand bucks a month net. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to network. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to network and I'm going to find people that's like-minded that's in the same situation as me that have you know lower incomes and things of that nature and then after i network and i find four or five people and the rent is probably three thousand dollars four thousand dollars a month so i'm gonna find three or four people i mean hell maybe even five or six and then we might bunk bed, bed it up 
but then we we will collaborate and then i would find a mom and pop landlord i would not find one of these uh wall street landlords i would not go find a property management company or anything like that i would look for a mom and pop landlord that's probably renting because they don't understand the market renting a property you know two or three bedrooms that is below market rates that's what i would do and then i would go on the lease with four or five roommates then our income combined so if, if everybody's making the netting two thousand dollars a month so we got four roommates that's eight thousand dollars that's what it is and we're like-minded and we want we need a place to stay so that's eight thousand dollars a month you know the rent's three thousand four thousand dollars a month and then of course you got the utilities or whatever and then i will be 100 percent hammer focused on i pay my rent i pay my utilities and everything else you know you got to have food to survive for the next three to four to five years i would do two or three things the two well i'll do three things the number one thing is anything above what i need to live i will be saving and investing every penny i will be saving and investing i will be eating at home i will be cooking at home i will be doing all that stuff at home i will be bringing bag lunch to work the whole night every dime above the minimum i need to live that's what i would do i would bring it to the house and then i will be saving 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 the next thing i will be doing is with that job i will be looking for other opportunities to one move up in that job or two looking to laterally move to another company that's paying more that's the next thing i'll do and the third and final thing would be and this is controversial for some but the thing that i would do is i would be looking to find ways to use the little funds that i have saved up to create more money more money to build up my cash pile higher and higher and higher until I get to the older ages or I do enough lateral transfers that my income can let me lose one, two, three, four of these roommates. But until then, I'm staying put where I'm at and I'm staying focused on those three goals only just to keep building income. But the key aspect of it is networking to find like-minded people to do it. And the thing is, is that's exactly what you and your wife did when you was making $10 an hour, right? Yep. I mean, you couldn't control where you got the job at. You just no, got but, the job. But I, what yeah. I said I would do is what I did. When I moved with my wife and we roommated, we were Lakeland was a remote location at the time. I lived in Tampa and I was working at the same job. I moved out of Tampa and I moved out of Tampa for the drive. I wanted to live closer to work and my job paid me. 11 an hour so i did what i said i would do because that's what i did i just wouldn't stay in tampa and then try to like create a a crew and all of that <laughs> but i i what yeah, i said i would do is what i what i did i mean yeah because you move closer so for you it makes sense because you move closer but a lot of people that get a thousand bucks that net a thousand like you said it's Close to the minimum wage here in the yeah. state of Florida now. Most people don't have that ability to move closer or anything like that. It's just, hey, this is where I'm at. I let's just use Tampa. I'm here in Tampa. They netting me a thousand bucks a week. But I mean, you can move closer to the job to pay less gas, but how much closer is it going to be? The closer to downtown is more. It's just that the thing is, is usually most people work close to where they live mm -hmm. most people don't go you know like you did oh tampa I, I live in lakeland i mean my job is in lakeland i'm a transport so you made the fiduciary duty to move closer to your job but the question that i have for you is would you make the same thing if lakeland had the same prices as tampa and then you had to go move to like why mammoth or down there in uh lehigh acres or something because it was cheaper to live that's that's what i'm saying if you if yeah. you're moving closer to your job it makes a little bit more sense 
but most people job is where they live or close to where they I, live yeah I, I think on this topic sense. the biggest stickler for me is that two thousand dollars a month in income because i don't see that as being worth it like your plan would obviously work um i mean not not going to be pg here but essentially that's what the immigrants are doing and it's working for them but with my knowledge in living in america i know that two thousand a month is not difficult to find because it's the baseline income practically in the state of florida because of the minimum wage so i wouldn't my brain the way i think staying in a major metropolitan city for minimum wage does not just doesn't seem convenient when i know i could go to a different location and make the same and especially outside of miami i mean you could go to like lake okeechobee where it's you know 45 minutes an hour away and it's way cheaper out there so, so. so if you think if you think if you think of it lake okeechobee 45 minutes away gas is let's say 350 375 you got a car, you're gonna be spending three hundred dollars a week. I'm not saying but, but I'm saying move there. I'm not saying stay working in Miami. I'm saying because I I wouldn't keep a job that's only paying minimum wage just because it's in a major city. That's what I, I wouldn't All right. so so going back to the last video, let's go going back to the last video and with again and this one and I put out that it will be this economic environment. This economic environment will be less kids going to school because, and I could have put that at the forefront of this video, less kids going to school because now they realize it's too long debt. It's going to be less educated people to go to school. And it's going to be, I mean, even before this, the high school, high school graduates, they go into the world of making minimum wage. So to them, that's that's the that's my real question. I mean, I don't care about the people that's making sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars a year. I'm talking about the high school graduate that that got out of school and then they making ten dollars an hour. Young Alex here, uh, making you know ten dollars an hour. And then what what do they do? How do they survive in this world when everybody say there's no way? I personally believe there is a way to do it, but it's not the way that everybody else want. Everybody else is. I believe that they're in their feelings is, oh, I left mom's house, so I shouldn't have a roommate. Oh, I left mom's house, I shouldn't have to collaborate with people to do it. Oh, I'm considered grown, so I should be able to do it by myself. But the truth of the matter is, your paycheck don't make you grown. The paycheck, the amount of money that you're bringing in, don't allow you the benefits of doing it all on your own to make your decision. So with the paycheck that you have, you have to act your wage. You can't, you can't just... Make believe something that's not there. You have to act your wage and your wage saying is, hey, I need roommates and I need to figure and I need to do a collaborative effort. So all the other kids and trust me, in America is millions of kids that are 18. They feel they grown and they want to leave their parents house. So with that, I need to collaborate with these all these kids that's turning 18 and 18, 19, whatever it is, that's leaving mom and dad's house and collaborate to do something to survive but that's what most of america is i mean the high school graduation numbers that we have every year that's cute but it's three four five six times that of people that either went to college and dropped out or just left high school and had to get into the workforce so that's where the majority is coming from it's not coming from the college it's not coming from the harvards the stanford's the usf's the university of florida's they're coming from our local high schools, Brandon High School, Tampa High School, or TAF, or whatever the hell is out there. That's the question. That's the question that they ask in America right now. How are we to how are we to survive in this state or in the United States with making a thousand dollars every two weeks? That's that's where yeah. I was going at with them. No, I get it. But I mean, I I would still stick to my point. But to play on your point, my argument or my question to people in this situation as is i would just ask them which hard decision do you want to make if you want to stay in that city for whatever reason like me i could have said oh i want to stay in tampa because i have family here and i don't want to leave my family 
you know, maybe there's more networking opportunities here. There's better careers here, whatever. Then, yeah, you have to bite the bullet and you've got to do what you do or what you said. I would agree with that because there is no livability in Tampa on 2001. There just isn't unless you want to live on the streets. Um, and that's just the facts. I mean, you would have to network and that would be the steps that you would have to take. For me, my job was paying 10, 50, 11 an hour at the time. 35, 40 minutes away from Tampa. And it was a remote location. I could have still found that same paying job in Tampa, but I just made the decision, okay, let me not have to drive so far every day. Let me cut my costs because I knew if I was going to live on my own in Tampa, I would have to pay all the costs. I moved to Lakeland. You know, we did the house hacking, was closer to work. That was the decision that I made. So I think it's a matter of people have to make the decision of what do they want to do? Do they want to move to a remote location or do they want to stay in the location they're in and figure it out? But both are going to be hard decisions. All right. So now you said what what location? Let's, what location did you say? Lake? Who? Lakeland? No, no, no. Just place where you say. Oh, Lake cheaper. Okeechobee. All right. So now I, I put up Lake o Okeechobee. Let's go here. All right. I'm just going to go to the first house or rental place. I don't know what this crap is here. So I'm just going to go with the first a one bedroom. Lake Obachobi o o or whatever you call it. Three one, thirteen hundred dollars a month. One bedroom, eight hundred dollars a month. So it's still it's still a hindrance on somebody that's making a thousand bucks every two weeks or two thousand bucks every two weeks. So it still goes back to the concept that I'm saying, even if they move there, they still would need a roommate. Yeah. They still would need but and, yeah. and that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I still got roommates when I moved to a remote remote location. But I would still prefer to be in a remote location if I'm living on that income. And, I, and that's all I'm saying. The, the, so the only variance is how many roommates do you have to have? It's not it's not about do you can you go without? It's you still got to network and find a roommate or two to make it livable. So that's that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It don't matter where you at in Florida. Now, I, I mean, I'd pick Miami because it was the biggest place. So that's four or five. So if you in Lake Oklahoma, Okeechobee or Nintendo, whatever the hell that name <laughs> place is called. You still need roommates. You still got to network. You still got to collaborate with people. And yeah. then maybe instead of four or five roommates, you still need you need one, one. or two. Yeah. But yeah, but but the thing is that still needs to happen. That's how the people that's leaving high school. That's the mindset that I believe, especially if you make a minimum wage. That's the mindset that you need to have to actually conquer the financial burden because of course all the necessity is going to go higher the rent is going to go higher the insurance is going to go higher if you have a car the cost of food is going to go higher all this stuff is going to go higher and it's going the cost is going to exceed the amount that you get on your annual increase raises if you're not you know switching switching positions or switching jobs or moving up into the company so that's the that's the real aspect that I believe is necessary no matter where you live is you have to learn to collaborate to make this happen to live in the united states today and i don't care where it's at it could be arkansas mississippi uh new york california hawaii the collaboration efforts and that is a key concept especially the younger generation to understand because everything is just a text message or a pokemon card that's all that's all they know they don't know nothing else yeah and they 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 can tell you what Pikachu is, but they can't tell you what an IOU is. You know what I mean? So that's the big the big difference. And I believe the idea of concept and collaboration is going to be a bigger part of this generation, especially coming out with the cost of everything going higher. Because FYI to the masses, the prices are not going lower. When they talk about inflation going down. That just means the prices won't increase as fast. That don't mean the price is going back to the prices that you remember back in 2019, 18, 17, uh, 2000, or 1980. It's not going down. 
Only thing that the prices are going to go up for everything. It's just how fast they go up is a key point that matter. And collaborating and partner, having partnerships and doing things together with your fellow man is what's going to help you survive to keep your head above water until you can transition, gain knowledge, and then build up your income to do it on your own. That's that's my view. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, I never said that um, you can't roommate um, or you can't room with others. That's, I mean, that is what I did. And it's, I think the most efficient, I just think it's easier to do in a lower cost area than it is to do downtown in the middle of the city. Um, because it worked for me. That's, that's why I say that. But, but with all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave us a comment down below, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.